What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and after a long wait, iOS 9 is finally here. So you guys can go ahead and update right now. But before you do that, in this video, I wanted to go ahead and introduce to you iOS 9, the final version, let you guys know what's new right now between now and the last GM version, and whether or not you should update. How's the performance and stability? So I've got it running on pretty much every device currently supporting it out of the iPhone lineup, and I wanted to give you guys the best idea of how it runs. So first off, I do have it running on my 6 plus right here. I did want to notify you guys that there is an update if you have GM. So if you have the GM version running right now, all you guys need to do is go into software update and you will see a small 42 megabyte update in here. It's very quick. However, you guys may get errors when trying to update. You have to keep clicking install update and then agree over and over and over again until finally it registers and you'll go through. There's just so many people right now trying to install this update that it may take you a very long time. If you don't want to struggle, you can always come back. And and uh, if you do get it to start updating, make sure the screen doesn't turn off because once the screen turns off, it resets and you have to do the same thing again. It just takes a while to update right now because there's so many people. But if you actually go into the about, there's a different build number for it. The last one was 13A 340. This one is 344. That means things did change in between the last GM and the final version of iOS 9. And possibly it's a little bit faster on older devices. And that's what I'm going to be finding out. I'm going to be doing a full speed test from the 4S to the 5 to the 5S to the iPhone 6 and seeing how the final version of iOS 9 performs. But overall, guys, this is it. This is iOS 9 finally on your device. If you have a newer device, you shouldn't even worry about performance or stability. I mean, it works fantastically. Animations are quick for the most part. Actually, that took a while uh, to get in there. But, you know, things will get better. Apple will keep updating with smaller software updates, fixing little bugs here and there, and things will start getting better. Now, sadly, this version does not come with a middle finger emoji. Again, that is going to come in iOS 9.1, and we should be seeing that firmware update in November. But overall, you know, I have so many videos on the changes in iOS 9. On the iPhone, not so much apparent as it is on the iPad. On the iPad, you get split screen view and picture in picture. However, there is a lot of welcome smaller changes in the iOS 9 update, namely in the photos application. I mean, I freaking love the ability to select so many photos like this, just the ability to dismiss photos easily like that. Uh, there's a lot of really cool things and I do have so many hidden features videos on my channel. So as far as an actual jailbreak, it has been jailbroken, the iOS 9 GM version. Hopefully this final version can be jailbroken as well. I will be keeping you guys updated on any sort of news with that because it interests me. I would really love to see a jailbreak break for iOS 9. However, again, it's more likely going to happen on iOS 9.1 as uh, the jailbreak developers would want all of the bugs ironed out in iOS 9. Because what's the point of releasing a jailbreak on the first version and then Apple releases an update, patches the jailbreak, and makes iOS 9 more stable? Why not get the best of both? So they're definitely going to wait until iOS 9.1. Now the news application in iOS 9 is actually really cool. I would recommend you guys check it out. Uh, compared to Flipboard, I really like how well animated it is and it all around is a great news application. It's a very good experience to read news on here. So definitely check this out. And uh, otherwise, you know, on the surface, there doesn't seem to be much in iOS 9, but there certainly is. And most importantly for me is the low power mode. This thing is gonna introduce extra battery savings to your device. So you'll get up to four hours running this mode. Now, not to mention iOS 9 alone without the low power mode actually adds a whole hour of battery life to your device. I thought that was super cool. And of course, one of the biggest changes with iOS 9 is Siri. So Siri is a lot more intelligent now. She's contextually aware of where you're at. She learns your patterns, if you let her, that is. I mean, pretty much Siri is a lot smarter and she could do a lot more things natively, such as math and conversions, and I thought that was really cool. And from now on out, you'll actually be getting smaller update sizes. So iOS 9.1 will not take up as much room as iOS 8.1 did, and that's all around fantastic. Now, aside from iOS 9, Apple did also release iTunes 12.3, I believe, a newer version, so you can go ahead and update from your computer. It introduces some new stability, some bug fixes, so definitely go ahead an update to that. And again, if you're on a newer device right now, 5S and above, you can update to iOS 9. You will not notice any detrimental effects. It's still pretty swift. I mean, there's still a little bit of delay opening up the app switcher. 
Uh, there's some delay where there shouldn't be, but it will get better. And if you're on a 4S or 5, I wouldn't update just yet. I will be releasing a full speed test video in just a minute here. So I'll be showing you guys how the performance fares on this latest version on all devices. So stay tuned for that, guys. And in the meantime, go ahead and update if you can. Remember, over the air, it does take a while. You have to keep trying, but you can do it from iTunes right away. I had no problems updating from iTunes. So if you guys notice anything different in this version, go ahead and leave a comment down below because I couldn't really find anything. Uh, it was exactly the same as the GM. All of the fixes must have been internal bug stability fixes. So enjoy iOS 9 if you do choose to update. Have a great day and I'll be right back with a quick speed test video. Peace.